Hey everybody, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use geometric constraints in this assignment and complete this drawing in Inventor. So the first thing that I need you to do is go over here to your browser and double click on sketch one. That's going to activate your sheet and expose your geometric constraints. So up here, you're going to see 12 different icons that have different geometric constraints. And these are pretty much rules or constraints that you can add to your 2D sketches to make your workflow in Inventor a little bit easier. So if you hover over each one, it actually tells you what the type of geometric constraint is and how to use it. So if you're unsure how to do the commands, make sure you hover over the individual constraint before you actually go to Google or ask any questions. So the first one asks me to make these two lines perpendicular. So I'm going to go over here and look for the symbol that seems like it might be a perpendicular command, which would be this one. So I can simply click on my perpendicular constraint, select these two lines, and they become perpendicular. Now I can right click and say OK, so I can move on to my next one. My next one asks me to make all three lines parallel to one another. So there's a couple of options up here that look like they could be parallel. This one is equal, which is not what I want. This one could be parallel, but this is a horizontal constraint. So it must be this one. All you need to do is click on the constraint and click on each line that you want to have parallel to one another. So now all these lines are parallel. What you might notice as you're completing each one of the commands is that the geometric constraints will actually show up as symbols next to your sketch. For the last example, this one has some new terminology on it. So we want to dimension circle number three to have a diameter of two inches. Then we want to fix the circles or make these circles stay put um, and make circle number three tangent to circle one and two. So let's break this down. We want to dimension circle number three to be two inches. So I'm going to click on circle number three drag out my dimension and type in two and press enter. I'm going to right click and say OK to finish that command. Now I want to fix circles one and two. Fix is a geometric constraint and I know that that's the lock. So I'm going to fix circle two. Notice a lock comes up and I'm going to fix circle one. That means that those two circles are not moving. I will right click and say OK to finish those two commands. Lastly, I want to make circle three tangent to circles one and two. So I'm going to go up to my geometric constraints and find the tangent option and click on it. So I know that I need to make circle number three tangent to circle two. And circle number three tangent to circle number one. And notice two tangent symbols show up next to each one of them. So you can right click and say OK to finish those commands. Now you're going to go through each one of these options and you're going to show me your knowledge of geometric constraints using these tools. To submit this, this assignment, you're going to go to File, Export as a PDF, and make sure you go into your Inventor folder. Um, don't save it in your Puzzle Cube project folder. Um, and please rename it as your last name underscore first name and submit it to Schoology.